In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can quickly reduce noise in your recordings by applying M Spectral Dynamics. To demonstrate, I'll use an audio post-production project from a short film. Now most of the takes in this film have a clean sound, but there is one take where noise reduction is necessary. Here is how it sounds originally. You wouldn't happen to have a key for this window, would you? Get the phone! No, no, no you call. I'll handle him. No, hang on, hang on. You can clearly hear that in the middle of the scene, the background noise gets really loud. In order to reduce the noise, we need something more powerful, like a classic noise gate effect. What we need is M Spectral Dynamics. In addition to its wonderful features as a spectral compressor, it can also be used as a spectral noise reduction as well. To apply M Spectral Dynamics, I will insert the plugin into the track's channel. I load the denoiser preset. I loop the problematic part of the scene and press play. Get the phone! No, 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 you call. I'll handle it. Carefully Get moving the, the threshold dial, I find a position at which I'm happy with both the sound quality the and noise no, no, reduction. I use the bypass button for a quick Get comparison. No, 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 you call. I'll handle it. I'll leave it here for now. The strength of the noise reduction would depend on you. However, remember that at some point, it will start affecting the main audio recording itself. You can also experiment with the sharpness, dry, wet, and character controllers. Set them to your preference. By using this method, a satisfactory result can be achieved. However, if you want a better result, you need to go to the edit page of M Spectral Dynamics to tune it more precisely. It might look scary at the beginning, but if you look closely, you will find a lot of similarity between M Spectral Dynamics and a traditional compressor. The four sliders at the bottom represent those four dials we saw in the active preset window. To get the most out of the plugin, we must understand how it works. We can think of it as a multitude of compressors, each working in a narrow part of a signal spectrum only. And I don't mean five or 10, we're speaking of thousands. We must also understand that no noise is the same. A tape, record, gear hum, external noise, you name it, they all have a different profile. In order for M Spectral Dynamics to separate a noise from a signal, it must set the threshold of each individual compressor just above the noise level. For that, it must capture a noise profile. To demonstrate this, I'm going to use a noise generator followed by an equalizer to shape the noise's spectrum. First, I turn the channel volume down. Let's select pink noise and set the wet level circa negative 50 decibels. Now I can raise the channel's volume back. Then I insert M equalizer and create some random curve on it. Now all I need to do is to click on the capture button in M Spectral Dynamics. As you can see, a noise profile built by M Spectral Dynamics follows exactly the curve I created in the equalizer. If I raise the threshold, we can hear the noise level going down. The idea behind capturing a noise profile is to teach M Spectral Dynamics to distinguish a background noise from a signal, so it will suppress the noise only. Now let's go back to our real life example. Apply the technique we just learnt and see if we can achieve a better result. To do this, select the part of the audio file which only contains a noise. Loop the selection and press playback. Now click on the capture button or shift plus click 
to capture a longer period of time. As you can see, M Spectrodynamics builds a noise profile very quickly. You can even use it on the fly without looping a particular part of the audio. However, the more accurate a noise spectrum is captured, the better the noise reduction that can be achieved. Now, raise up the threshold. You can hear the noise level going down. Loop the selection and press playback. Get the phone! No, 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 you call. I'll handle him. Get the phone! No, 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 you call. I'll handle him. Get the phone! No, 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 you call. Use the bypass button to make sure your audio hasn't deteriorated. Get the phone! No, no, no you call. Phone. I'll handle him. At this stage, you can try every controller to know its effect. For the purpose of this demonstration, I only set the naturality here. Let's see the results. Without. You wouldn't happen to have a key for this window, would you? Get the phone! No, no, you call. I'll handle him. No, hang on, hang on. And with? You wouldn't happen to have a key for this window, would you? Get the phone! No, no, you call. I'll handle him. No, hang on, hang on. Much better, right? You can apply this technique to any type of noise material. Bye for now, and happy noise reduction.